I love this right here, by the way. Hold up. We got to talk about this poster that you have. Let's Terry see. finally has a QB. Tyrion, you're saying you got a signed football from Washington Nona. Go ahead and tell us yeah. about it. Welcome back to Fango Media. I'm Anthony Remedios, reporting live outside State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. Commanders quarterback Jaden Daniels looked unstoppable for Washington this afternoon as he led his team to its 42-14 victory over the Arizona Cardinals. The Commanders now improved to 3-1 on the season, while the Cardinals fall to just 1-3. It's time to check in with the fans of today's game. Yeah, and then the owner walked by right where we were, and uh, yeah, he signed it. That's awesome. So are you from the D.C. area, or did you just... Uh, uh, what, what, what I was basically born to that team. You're so born to that team. Why, yeah. so your dad from there? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, since you're here at the game today, Jaden Daniels, a guy who, you know, picked second overall in the, in the draft, providing a lot of hope for you guys. How are you feeling about not just what you've seen today, but overall the last four weeks? Dude, he's such a dude. He's so, so good, yeah. Would you say that this is the biggest performance, the big, biggest game you've seen from Daniel so far? Uh, yeah. yeah. Dude, best performance overall. He was a uh, slippery. He made all the passes he needed to make. Like reminded me of Jake the Snake out there, man. He was he was making plays out there, man. That's what you need to do. Couldn't get any pressure on him all game, you know. Um, when we did get pressure, he he would run out out of the pocket. Like he was he was nervous, but we couldn't get the pressure. And, and uh, yeah, that's why he had a lot of time to throw. Yeah, good game, good game, man. It's that uh, Cliff Kingsbury uh, offense, man. He's a guru, man. He's he, Patrick Mahomes, Johnny Menzel, uh, Kyler Murray. You know what I mean? He's 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 a guru, and he's he's a good call play caller, man. And I think now that he's dedicated to calling plays, you know, he can go. He can do a lot better job versus having to control the whole team. You know what I mean? So congratulations to Cliff Kingsbury, man. He's a great coach. LSU Tigers, you can't, I mean, nothing but good quarterbacks come out of that place. Yeah. Joe yeah. Burrow, now Jay and Daniels, two yeah, Heisman yeah, winners, yeah, yeah. one of whom was a national champion. Yeah, I'm originally from, you know, Lake Raiders and Dodgers and UCLA, but, yep. you know, you got to go for the best. Yeah. But I will never leave the Lakers, Raiders, and Dodgers because I was born and raised in East LA. Okay. If I go back to the hood, the homies will keep <laughs> <laughs> Uh Jaden Daniels is super hot right now. He's playing lights out. He's got a good grasp of the offense. I, I wish he was a Cardinal. Honestly, Cardinals fan, but Jaden Daniels, really good player. His first couple of games definitely shows ASU, definitely speaks Arizona, and I hope we can get him one day. Clearly, they made the right draft pick. I mean, it's only been four games, and he already looks like, you know, top 10, top 5 QB in the league, and I don't know, the future is really bright. Uh, I'm really impressed with the way that Cliff Kingsbury has been not only calling the plays, but also just designing them to make sure that he's playing to the strengths, getting the ball out of Jaden Daniels' hands quickly, and making sure he's also running the ball enough so that he can run to play into the pass. Yeah, I think when they were third and short, fourth and short, they decided to throw. Um, when you have a power back like James Conner, that's a guy that you just give the ball to, right? So um, it was tough. I think the play calling was a little shaky in the first half. They obviously got it going. They got that touchdown before the end of the third quarter, but it seemed to be a little too little too late. And um, I'd love to see the run game a little bit more. Over 100 rushing yards, scoring a touchdown. Are you, you know, how are you guys feeling about what, what he's done? He's a beast, man. Keep being the beast. James Conner, baby. Hey, man, Trey McBride's going to be back and better than ever, man. I hope he's healthy, man. But, man, we got Tip Ryman. We got a, a Higgy Bear, Elijah Higgins, man. And we got, you know what I mean? We're going, we're going places, man. Dante still is on defense. I saw him. He ran all the way down the field and ran down the, the running back or the receiver on, on the screen. Man, he was fast. He, you know, he doesn't give up on the plays. I like that. It's West Virginia, baby. Yeah, I know. Connor's badass. I wish we had him. <laughs> He'd be our next Napoleon <laughs> Kaufman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, here's what I think. The Cardinals are a cusp away from being great. We just need better. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna be on TV tonight, homie. <laughs> Any other exciting players you stood out to you? Dude, McLaurin. 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 Hey, you got the jersey. Terry McLaurin finally has a quarterback to throw him the ball. He is a top 10 receiver in this league. 
I love this right here, by the way. Hold up. We got to talk about this poster that you have. Let's Terry finally has a QB. Uh, what, what's the story behind it? And uh, Terry has gone over 1,000 yards. How many years? Four years in a row? With multiple different quarterbacks. Now he has finally a solid quarterback to give him the football. You kind of have that thunder and lightning a little bit. We saw Trey Benson at the end there. Had some good runs to the outside. Had some good speed. Um, so you just want to see maybe, uh, you know, with James Conner, you want to see him run up the middle and be powerful. And then if you need something to the outside, you put in Trey Benson. Trey McBride missing from this Arizona offense due to an injury. How big is that impact in, that we're seeing right now with his absence? Um, I think that's just a guy that gets open, right? We saw with the commanders, they had a guy like Zach Ertz, former Cardinal, who was just able to get open, right? When they needed that conversion, they needed a guy to be open. They had Zach Ertz wide open. McBride's that same kind of guy. When you need that conversion, third and medium, third and five, third and six, he can get open for you. I think they missed that a little bit. Um, I thought Elijah Higgins still had a good game, but he's still that X factor kind of guy at tight end. I don't know. Like, I'm not much of like an X's and O's guy. I'm like more of like a casual fan. But Cliff Kingsbury clearly knows what he's doing. He's drawn up all the right plays. And yeah, I don't know. They're just kind of unstoppable right now. Cardinals are a good team. They've just had kind of a tough schedule to open up. You know, they played. Uh, you know, they played at Buffalo, they played Detroit. Now next week they got to go to San Fran. Just, you know, their record might not be great, but I do think they're a good team. And uh, yeah, they've got a great run game. Connor looks great. And I think if they can maybe, if they can maybe pull off an upset next week, I think I think their future, you know, the season's not over yet. They still look good. Um, I'm very proud of Marvin Harrison Jr. You know, he's new to the team and he's been doing great. He started the game with a touchdown. We scared the Redskins a little bit. Um, we just couldn't finish it, and that's okay. I, I think James Conner has the potential. I love my Cardinals. I need our O-line to step it up. I need our, our men to protect him because he can run it, but he needs people to block. I had James Conner, Kyler Murray, and they both did me wonders. I'm winning up by 70 points right now. Well, there you go. What's better than a car? Hey, at least you get a fantasy win, potentially. And, and I won $300. Thank you to Marvin Harrison Jr. Thank you for that touchdown. There you go. Right. Well, with that, the Cardinals will head to San Francisco next week where they will take on the San Francisco 49ers. Once again, the final score from State Farm Stadium, the Commanders 42, the Cardinals 17. From State Farm Stadium, I'm Anthony Remedios. We'll see you next time.